Eres la oficial, baby, no de remix Todas tus amigas, ese y mis micas Tú necesitamos algún día ese feeling Ay, sonríe tú, pero el feliz soy yo Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you are new here, welcome. If you've been been here, thank you so much for being a day one. And if you're watching from outside the club, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Subscribe. 50,000 YouTube subscribers in this video. I just want to say thank you so much for getting me to 42,000 YouTube subscribers. That is insane, guys. Hore, half an hour, one, instead of two, instead of three. Give us shock of hour. People took their time to press the subscribe button just to join this family. And I love it for me. I love it for us. In this video, we're not vlogging, guys. We're taking a little bit of a break because we're not trying to kill me. Because of content, I get a lot of content. Little chale, kisan san e kilo mong ning guys, kisan san e kilo mong yani. Hoken ka shaka bagala content. I was really getting exhausted, so I took a little bit of a break. I'm still vlogging, just that I'm going to edit it later on. You guys will get the vlog for this past Saturday on Wednesday. So not Saturday, this past weekend on what's this thing on Wednesday. So don't worry, I'm not. Forwards in consistency and here on a Sunday to drop this vlog for you guys in this video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using all the products that I use on a daily um, It's a highly requested thing on, a, on my on my channel I know people think youtubers are lying when they say oh this video is highly requested by my subscribers We're not lying guys people do ask us to do specific videos and this is one of them on my channel people want to know how i get ready how i do my makeup and in this video i'm going to be taking you guys through my makeup process in great detail showing you guys everything that is in front of me right now the mess that is here that i have to clean up but i'm going to leave you guys and i will see you guys at the end of the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to tag me when you use the product when you buy the products you must tag me and tag the brand not only me guys when you support your the creators that you like and you're buying a product that they plugged you with please tag them and tag the brand because it increases our chances of working with that same brand because what of my guy guys have to even exist thank you my way now how tag a tattoo tag a brand you what's going on you know and then they will reach out and then and then and then let me leave you guys here i hope you guys are having a great day and enjoy getting ready with me bye i'm going to start off with priming my skin with this maybelline primer let me focus on it so that you guys can get the product details I use this product religiously every time before I even have foundation or all the other extras on my skin I prime with this primer from Maybelline guys I don't know the cost of the products that I'm going to be using guys because I use them every day like so yeah um, I've already prepped my skin guys when we say I've already prepped my skin we mean I've already used whatever I use every day on my skin so if you use Vaseline you've already prepped your skin but you should also use sunscreen guys sunscreen is the secret to the fountain of youth or whatever is the Beyonce of of skincare you know so you should use sunscreen guys whatever sunscreen you can find use sunscreen guys I don't want to recommend the one that I use because it's great it's amazing guys but it's a bit pricey you know so I know not everyone can afford that specific one but there are sunscreens that are that are still affordable that still work right so I'm going to start off by priming my face with this luminous fit me uh, Maybelline primer showing it to you guys one last time before I start so yeah, hide gala guys. Guys, I am done priming my skin. If you watched other makeup videos, you will see that other people prime specific parts, like they'll prime here or there or where. I don't do that. I prime my entire skin. Like wherever foundation is gonna sit, 
I prime guys so we are moving to the second step guys right now I do foundation before brows guys I don't do like brows and then I focus on foundation because I found that when I do that I want my brows to be so perfect and there's no way your brows are going to be perfect guys like there is no way your brows are always going to be cousins they're not going to be twins you know so when i do brows before foundation i want them to be twins so i spend a lot of time on my brows like i would spend 30 minutes on my brows guys and also they would be so dark by the time i'm done but if i do it if i do them after foundation my hand is very light so i don't press it onto my skin anymore because i'm aware that there's already foundation that is neat that is layered so i just need to do this quick 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 you know so yeah I'm going to move on to the second step. So the first step is priming my skin. The second step is bringing foundation in. So I use two foundations on my skin because I feel like the outer area should look like the rest of your 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 body, you know, and then the inner layer can be lighter, you know. So I use the Maybelline foundation in the shade 65, which is coconut. This is not my true shade, you guys. Like it's darker than I look. But why is this thing not focusing? Yeah, this is not, this is how it looks, guys. I think it retails for 250 if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I use this to layer, like the outer layer of my, of my face. So let's quickly do that before we go into another foundation. This is exactly how I, I layer it. I, I put it around my face. And if you notice, I didn't put it here, on like next to the lace. I put it lower because I don't want too much product. I don't even want product on my lace, guys, because the minute you do that, it, it just doesn't look nice. Like, it does not look nice. So what you want to do is put as little foundation closer to your lace as you can guys so yeah this is how i layer the outer layer and then before i even go in with my sponge i come in with my lighter foundation my favorite foundation guys is the elizabeth arden foundation i am a shade 510 n this foundation is a bit on the pricey side it is it retails for 725 you can find it at this cam for shiny I think Clix also has it. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. But what Ed guys, you can find it at all those uh, shops. This shade is 510. And let me just take it out quickly. But this is the shade, guys. Focus. This is, can you guys see it properly? Yeah. It's 510N. This is the shade that I'm going to use, guys. I believe in this foundation more than I believe in my marriage. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Do not quote me on that. But I truly, truly believe in this foundation. This is how it looks guys the packaging is what like the only reason i bought it was because of the packaging but like once i started using it i fell in love in love in love in love this is how it looks you guys so yeah uh let me quickly apply it I can't find my beauty blender and I washed it so I don't know where I put it after washing it so I'm going to have to use these brushes I bought these brushes a while back but I haven't been using them because I feel like when you use a beauty blender everything gets done so quickly because I use it for everything like everything everything and I'm done you know so I'm going to be using these brushes I have never used them before. They are from Hermosa Flor. I bought them when they had the special. I stopped like any name. They were on special. So I'm going to be using them for the first time. So let's do that, guys. I didn't want to teach you how to do like this beat with brushes because I know brushes can be complicated. Whereas when you're using a, that's this, when you're using a, a beauty blender, you finish so quickly and you don't use a lot. Like, how how to go like a you know, with, whereas with brushes, you need to think which one is the foundation brush, which one is this brush, you know? So yeah, um I have no choice but to use this one guys. So you see this is how I'm blending it out because I'm not gonna touch this area over here. This area that area is reserved for getting for concealer when I'm done done done, like at the end. That's the one thing. Not done done done, but in the middle, just not now. Right now, I hook her on these parts. Guys, I want to show you that you dab. 
you don't drag it you you dab it okay it's my first time using this brush but it feels so good like it really feels so good did you see guys that I didn't drag the foundation all the way to the top like if you see you can see like there's no foundation on this lace the foundation stops here so yeah that's what I always do because if at least a foundation onto your lace closure yeah man glue ki foundation it just doesn't look nice it doesn't look normal so yeah that's why now I'm bringing it here you see guys just like that I am done with the foundation step I'm gonna move to the third step the first step was primer the second step was the foundations together and then we're gonna move to the third step now guys I know I look crazy right now but let's learn to trust the process okay I'm going to be moving in into the into the powder phase right now so guys I'm going to repeat the steps as I go along because I don't want you guys to get lost right the first step was priming your face I used the primer the second step we used foundation right we used the darker shade outside and just literally inside like literally below the darker shade we use the lighter shade right and then after that we blended it out right now we're done with that part i do not have any product over here because this is reserved for concealer right so now we are moving to the third step which is using translucent powder i use the yardley loose powder luxurious matte it has a luxurious matte finish it's a trans the shade right i think it's a shade because i've noticed that they have warm cocoa like different shades i use translucent buff this is how it looks So let's go into it. Guys, this is how I go about it, right? I I use powder on the area that I use the foundation, right? To mattify it or to dry it, right? But I put the most powder on my brows because I want them extremely matte and I leave it there for a while, guys. So, yeah, let's quickly let it sit in there and then I'm going to come back on screen so we can do our brows. Okay, so I feel like my eyebrows are now set, guys. I left it for a minute. There's no need to be dramatic and leave it like about 10 minutes, you know, because I'm not going to guys. My makeup usually takes me 30 minutes the most but Leona 30 minutes ago, I think it's because I, I, I don't really sit in here every time I do my makeup. I watch TV, I'll be catching up on vlogs, you know. There's nothing on this brush, guys. This is me just removing the product on my brows, right? I use this product from Essence. I just want to show it to you properly. Let me close it. From, Presence, from Essence. It's called the, the Eyebrow Designer. It's just an eyebrow pencil. This is how it looks, you guys. I want you to see the shade. It's shade number two. It's dark brown, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's brown. Shade number two in brown. It is 69 right? if I'm not mistaken. You can find it at Clicks and at Diskim. Yeah, Clicks and... If, wherever there's an essence stand, you will find this specific brow pencil. Guys, I feel like this is like an affordable makeup tutorial the only thing that's not afford affordable in this whole thing that i'm like doing right now is the elizabeth arden foundation everything else you can find at buddhist kim with clicks guys so yeah let's move on to my brows i've never really done my brows on screen so i don't know how this is going to work let me zoom in for you guys i don't know how this is gonna work yeah i think this is visible Guys, you, as you can see, guys, I don't have, like, bushy brows. These are the brows that I have. They're already outlined. So when I do my brows, I go with the shape of the brows themselves. I don't do, like, big brows and then try and shape them with concealer. No, I try and do them as neat as possible. And then when I come in with concealer, I just conceal the, the, the part that's underneath. And I don't conceal on top. 
so let's quickly do my brows You see guys, I'm done with this brow. I just need to do the other one and then after that I'm going to conceal it. So let me quickly do that one off screen and I'm gonna come back so we can conceal it together. Guys, I'm back. You know when you have to go run errands and you do your makeup, it comes out so perfectly. But when you go to an event or it's your wedding day <laughs> and you do your own makeup, it just comes out like this. <laughs> It just goes down, you guys. So I just feel like when I was on screen doing this brow, it didn't, it wasn't landing there. But when I went offline to do this one, it came out nice, like boring stuff, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna try and fix this one quickly before we go to the foundation stage. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to be using this side of the same pencil to brush out the top part before I go to the concealer. So let's quickly do that guys. Guys, I know I said brows must be cousins, ne? Marie will cousin cousin, like blood related cousin. Isn't cousin yet anything at the banang? Kamang le mang, was a man or mang ya by ing, hump on on pizza mamalume. Like, no. <laughs> I'm trying to get them to be blood related. So let's move on to concealer, guys. For concealer, I use the Fawn LA, LA King LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I lost the thingy, the, the, the prop. But this is the concealer that I use in the shade GC 9A3. It's called Fawn, guys. This is a famous found, uh, say famous concealer. Everyone, not everyone, but like the makeup OGs have all used. Like everybody has bought this. If you're a makeup lover, at some point you bought this concealer. I use these two, you guys. I use this concealer and this brush to outline my eyebrows. Um, I haven't tried to use any other brush except for this in the last five years guys So I don't know if I lost this this brow pencil this brow shape or whatnot I don't know what's gonna happen with me and my brows because I don't know how to use any other uh, King brush. This is the only brush I've used for years So yeah, let me do that now when we, this is stage I don't even know which stage this is but but we are moving in stages guys. I did my this is where you guys come in. I did my face. I primed my face. I put foundation up to my face. I set the foundation with powder and then I moved to drawing my eyebrows with the Essence pencil. And now I'm going to outline my brows. So I use this concealer to outline the inner side, like the inner 
side and then I use another one to outline the the outer let me show it to you guys I think some things you just need to show and not explain so let's outline This is how it's looking guys with the product the products are still there like i feel like this concealer matches my skin color so you won't see it properly and then for to outline the outer corner inside still underneath guys still underneath i'm not going to conceal on top i go in with this one uh, the, the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 30 shade 30 is also my favorite concealer shade number 30 maybelline fit me so yeah i'm going to open it and then bring it onto the brush and then i don't start by putting the product directly onto the line because then it's not going to look nice i put the product a bit lower and then i go up i build it up And just like that we are done with this brow you guys I'm gonna do this other one off screen quickly because I don't want us to waste time on this but guys I know this looks intimidating because you know, it just needs you to concentrate and it needs you to practice it until you can get it right you know cuz before it would take me an hour now it literally takes me 30 minutes to do everything you know so please don't feel intimidated when you're watching me and do all these steps and feel discouraged before you even start give it a chance guys like the way i'm explaining it to you step by step maybe for a week do primer the next week do foundation the next week do powder the next week do brows until you you find it a, like a way to incorporate all of it into your makeup routine or just do what you can still that will work for you guys and i'm specifically talking to beginners guys i'm not talking to people who know how to do makeup this is for beginners like <laughs> okay let me quickly do this off screen okay guys i'm done concealing guys the top part i do not conceal guys i'm going to repeat that for the 50th time the top part i do not conceal i just go over like this like so with the brush and then the other side And then I would normally come back with my beauty blender, but because I can't find it, I'm going to go back with this Hermosa Floor brush that I used to set my foundation. So I'm going to come in here to set this part, to blend in this part. Guys, I don't like how this side is blending in, so I'm just going to go in with this because there wasn't enough product on this eyelid, so I'm just going to do this. And then, guys, when I'm done blending this out, I'm going to go back to my translucent powder, 
translucent powder this is the translucent powder and then I am going to go in with the brush again and then I'm gonna go in again and do this to my brows just to set it again with a lot of product because I need yeah this is how I like it too much that was just dramatic and then you guys I'm gonna leave that part for now and now I am moving to eyeshadow part guys I use the contour and glow palette for my eyeshadow for my signature look that I always have on my vlogs because I always just go my go to look my go to thingy with eyeshadow is to just have brown eyeshadow brown lips or brown eyeshadow with red lips and that is really it I can mostly do cat kids all the time so I'm going to go in with that guys I this is from Mr. Price I bought it a long time ago I think they've they've discontinued it because this was Scarlet Hill uh, and I know they're focusing on what is this the quick fix range Guys, I've I bought this a long time ago. I've used it so much, guys. Go get I finished this. This is this is what I was obsessed with. And then I moved to this. And then now I'm here. And I'll find a way to move into this. But like yeah, I'm going to use the Hermosa Flow eyeshadow brush and use this brown colour for my eyeshadow. You guys, this uh, brush literally takes out the pigment. Like, I always apply this thing there, but it's never this brown. Like, literally, this brush literally took so much out of it. I love it. I love it. And then, I'm going to blend it, guys. Just for now, I'm just putting product onto it. Guys, if you hear a sound, it's because this chair that I'm sitting on is a chair. Yeah, guys it needs oil so it's just making annoying sound when I move around but yeah this is what I do When I'm done putting the brown eyeshadow, I go in with this eyeshadow palette. It's the Revolution Makeup Revolution Eyebrow Palette. I think this one is called Roxy. It's from a long time ago, you guys. Why am I so dark? It's from a long time ago, you guys. So I'm still most forcing matters. I'm gonna use them, guys. I go in with the one that is finished, the yellow shade, guys. I go into that yellow shade. And then I blend out the brown part here with it. But like this sparking, this brush that I used is so tiny. I'm going to use another one. I just want to bring this product onto my eyeshade, onto my eyelids. brush and then go over this part just to blend it out guys I should have blend you alone guys how we be fair like and then you leave the house I should can try a blend one guys like even if you don't have yellow just use that brown and blend out the brown guys I say it's even guy blender can but like I feel like if you take a clean brush that hasn't that doesn't have anything ah you can still blend it out. I'm going to go back to the one that has the brown so that I can bring the brown back in because it's fading away and I don't want it to fade away Ilingat. then that's what I do and then I'm going to go back to the one that doesn't have product to blend out I 
Guys, if you don't have brushes, I sometimes just do this. If I don't have nails, I just do this. And it makes it easier. If I'm using like the beauty blender and I don't want to go back and forth with brushes, that's what I do. I'm going to go back into the brown because I feel like I need it. Oh, it's here. I feel like I need it. But I'm not going to go on, on the outer area. I'm just going to put it here. Next to my eyelashes. having long nails is a problem guys and then now we're gonna move from eyeshadow palettes guys these eyeshadow palettes palettes i'm still gonna come back to them but for other purposes you know just to show you that you don't need to buy a specific product for a specific thing that you're going to do on your face you can still use your other products for different things that you're doing on your face to complete to to achieve the desired makeup look you want to achieve i'm done with that i'm going to go in with this liquid ink from essence this is what I use to kinky eyeliner. Is this the eye? Is this eyeliner, guys, or is the one that you use on the inner part of your eye eyeliner? I'm not sure, but okay, I think this is eyeliner. Yeah, this is eyeliner. I think you can also call it a wing liner. This is how it looks. It's from Essence as well. It's from the same place I bought my eyebrow pencil. And then, guys, I don't do the wing liner. Now. I'm just gonna like put a line over here so that when I put my lashes. It doesn't look weird, like so. I didn't put a lot like I just put a small line because one thing about this guys you don't want to have like a big eye oh it just looks weird guys you just want to have a little line that's there that's visible but also not visible I'm gonna quickly do this other eye and then I'm gonna come back to you guys eye guys like my eye is this one because I use this hand right when I come to do this eye that's where I always screw up you will find that this one is neat and this one is just so big so yeah guys I'm quickly going to go off screen just to put on my eyelashes because I have not mastered doing eyelashes on the screen I don't want to ruin everything that I've worked so hard to do on my face so I'm just quickly gonna put them on come back and continue with the video two minutes guys see i'm back now and i figured out why i don't feel comfortable doing my my lashes on screen it's not the fact that i don't know how to do it on screen it's the fact that even off screen i'm struggling because of how long these nails are so on a normal day if i didn't have these nails i would do them easily because you know so good guys so now i'm back to my brows i'm back to remove the powder and this is it guys this is how i get my brows the way that i always have them because people always say yo your brows how do you do your brows that is it that is how i do my brows guys and now i'm done with the lashes now i'm moving on to concealer guys so that's a bit little hot get new guys i'm going to concealer i'm going to use the same concealer i used when i was busy here with my brows the la pro conceal in the shade phone again let's quickly do that guys This foundation is best when it has set so you must leave it on for a few minutes and then after a few minutes I'm going to apply this one the Maybelline and the color 30 over here 
so let me just wait for this one to sit and then I'm gonna come back on screen I just want to answer the text and then when I come back after a few minutes we'll apply the other the other concealer and we'll blend I'm done waiting for this thing to set I'm running out of time I'm going on a lunch date with another youtuber you guys will see it in my other my next vlog the, the one coming after this one I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit, Fit Me concealer this one still has the price sorry it still has the price and this one is expensive this one is a hundred and fifty four rand 155 rand actually 155 i want you guys to see it so that you can believe what well, that is the actual price it doesn't want to focus guys there you go it is 155 you guys so i feel like just buy phone they just go to discap and just buy phone guys it's what you're you know this one is just me liking things it's lighter than the other one if you can see you guys you guys, why it's like you guys have 50, 11, you guys. Maria, this is what I do. I put the other one on top of this one before I blend it out. Because I want this part to be lighter, but I don't want it to be bright. You know, other people want it to be bright, like they want a bright under eye. No, I don't like that. I want it to still, like, I don't want it to be too far from my skin color so yeah guys when we do this when i'm at this part guys just know i'm closer to finishing when martin is around when he sees me doing this part he knows i know he must go bath and start getting ready because i'm almost done so that's what i do yo guys killella King beauty blender thing yaka guy guys Joe uh, I need my beauty blender guys for this part I never do this part with a brush so it's annoying me and my home girls but let's quickly do it I really like these brushes like as much as I'm so used to using a beauty blender I feel like this is just doing the job as easily as the beauty blender would do it but I would prefer to use this in the comfort of my own home without you guys watching me because I want to make a makeup tutorial I want it to be easy, you know, and if I, I feel like if I'm using a brush, it's not easy, you know, but it is what it is. I can't find my beauty blender, guys. I watched it, like, I watched it specifically for this video, but I give for mine. I see collab. Yeah, guys, my phone is so busy. Let me just check quickly. Okay guys, I'm done blending this part out. 
I'm going to come in with the powder that I used. Let me quickly do that. Uh. Look guys, in my life I miss my beauty blender because this process, I feel like it needs a beauty blender. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> You know what guys, I have this beauty blender ne? Um, it's not really a beauty blender because it's very hard. The the proper beauty blender to use, you can find the Clix, the one I use from Clix. This one I got for like a, a PR, so I'm just going to quickly use it. Yeah, because this is what I actually want. The brush wasn't giving me this. This is what I wanted you guys like the the brush really wasn't giving me this girl that I, that I was trying to be and then let me quickly do this remember I said I'm going to use my eyeshadow again but this is not an eyeshadow this is actually a contour palette but I'm going to I use it as an eyeshadow I'm also going to use it as a contour palette to contour my face I'm going to use the same shade again like having a harsh harsh cont contour if you've noticed like it must be subtle that's why I don't put too much but you can still see that it's there and then after this I go back to my eyeshadow and I use this pink shade I really don't contour my nose. Let me quickly do that. just finished contouring my nose you guys uh, going to go back to powder just to outline my cheekbones oh, guys the powder went onto my wig and I don't want that
that part and guys now I'm going to do what I really really love guys this is the part that I love about doing my makeup because I really really love this product it's a Revlon product guys let me show it to you guys I even have two guys because this one is old and this one is new ne? Mara, I feel like it's not the same thing I don't know why but it's, it, it's actually the same thing it has the same uh, King product name the same product color but when I'm using it, I don't feel like this new one is giving me the same one, the same vibe as the old one is giving me. But it's a Revlon skin. It's called Skin Light. It's a bronzer. Oh, guys, I love it so much. I love this product so much, you guys. So I'm gonna use this one, this old one, because the ah, oh, because the other one is not giving me product. Oh, Luna, because the other one is not giving me product. Let me do this. Guys, jo, I need you guys zoomed in. I need you guys zoomed in so that you guys can see this product properly. Literally, guys, La Bonnet is nothing. It's just the blush, right? I want you to see, guys, that this product, this product, ah, 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 ah. Jo, guys, like the before, the after I work at this print oh wally now oh wally now oh wow <laughs> this product guys it just makes me so happy look at me guys like look at me it just makes me so happy so I just bronze the part where I put my blush and then I also bronze my and under my my brow like this Like that. And then let me just remove this product over here. Like so. like so you guys and wait i feel like i removed my thing i don't want guys not i really just love this part like sure 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 guys it's the glow for me like i'm glowing <laughs> i'm so happy i'm glowing <laughs> and then from here on i'm going to be using this maybelline tattoo liner this tattoo liner from Maybelline if it can just focus guys it won't focus because it's such a tiny pencil oh what guys yeah now well enough and then I'm going to go under my waterline with it like this ah oh, I want to look at you but I want to look at oh my god guys I'm making a mess but this is what I do And my waterline. I made a mess over here. wrap it up wrap it up guys before i wrap it up i'm just gonna do of course what i you always always do my beauty spots <laughs> because i was not born like this guys like maybelline i was not born like this and then i'm going to be using this pencil it's a perfect precision lip liner from LA girl cosmetics it is red in color guys Ugh, I hate it when things don't focus guys but this is how it looks yeah this is how it looks guys this is it focusing 
I also want to show you the tattoo liner since it didn't focus that one time. This is the tattoo liner that I used on my eyelids. Yeah, so let me use this one. Yeah, the light is back. And then I use it to outline my lips. And then, guys, now we're going to the part that everyone always asks me about. Ooh, where's the lipstick? Here it is. I use these two lipsticks to, to get my lip fam famous lip color. This one is from Foshimi. They used to have it in this packaging, but they discontinued it. So now they have it in this packaging. It's a dark red lipstick, guys. And then if I don't use the Hermosa Flow one, I use this one. It's from Yardley. This is the perfect red lip, guys. On its own, the perfect, perfect red lip. It's giving ruby red. Okay, ruby woo from MAC, but it's more affordable. But I don't, I don't like bright lipsticks, so I mix it with this dark red one, guys. This is the red lipstick I always, always use, guys. I'm going to repeat this so that you guys know. And like, if someone asks in the comment section, as it's going forward, you guys must run in here and tell them in the comment section, go watch the makeup video. Everything is in there. So yeah, it doesn't really smell nice, but it gets the job done. They are both matte, you guys. So let's, let's do this. And then I'm gonna go in with a red lipstick from Yardley in the inner corner. blessing Luna <laughs> yeah guys I successfully recorded this for you guys and it came out just the way I wanted it to come out let me zoom out hagi mutlele khale Luna kita slavatu lampona guys and after this I'm going to just go in with the setting spray so let me quickly just wear a nice shirt and come in with a setting spray so we can close this video. I'm back, Luna. Jo, ingari kinto to jo aman like ingari like I'm back, kara king, kara. What's this? The kara room to vaira la trela mo guys. But she will never she will fail because kizwan na kiliji, kizwan ha kiliji Luna. But I don't mupila. I'm not done yet, guys. I came back because I still need to use this setting spray from Hermosa Floor. This is the one that makes your makeup dewy. It's not the matte one. I feel like at this 
point i am a certified hermosa floor babe because hasika and hermosa floor hasika hermosa floor <laughs> so yeah i'm going to just use it i put it in the fridge guys so that it's fresh you know when it hits my skin it, it refreshes my skin it's not warm you know plus watch here so shake it a bit and you know normally i would hide this part but because Setting spray makes me sneeze, just like perfume. Perfume and setting spray. Harut la de hand, ma. And get it a foster, guys. But le wona rabolata, ma. Lampona, ma. La, lampona, na. Guys, this is the end of the video, guys. This is me. I am done and I'm ready to rock, you guys. And obviously, of course, this is not like a three in one makeup hair outfit vibes because i vlog a lot so you guys will see what i was wearing today on my next vlog i'm not going to be wearing this this is for the purpose of this video because i was just recreating that look that i did in my maybelline um getting maybelline campaign video because i got a lot of compliments so i was just like information <laughs> testimonials guys so that it increases my chances of working with that specific brand but yeah guys i am done with this beautiful makeup look guys i just removed lipstick over here Marie, what the hell are anyway, I am done with this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. And yeah, happy whatever day it is when you're watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.